Welcome to Open Everyone. I'm Rino Valentin, your host, Cafe Con Leche. For the next hour, always inviting you to get social with us online. That's right. Tweet us and follow us on Instagram at BronxNet TV and like us on Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. And of course, while you're there, don't forget, follow moi on Twitter, Instagram, FB, Insta Stories, LinkedIn, and Snapchat at Rina Valentin. Our first guest is an East Harlem native New Yorker who has made a name for himself within the community and abroad. He's written several books, excuse me, books, including the essential hits of Shorty Bonbon, Smoking Lovely, and Where a Nickel Costs a Dime. He's known for his creative lyrical language, and now he has his fourth book recently released entitled the crazy budget well it's a story that tells us of a, it's a story of a crew coming of age in east harlem at the dawn of the hip-hop era and joining us to tell us more we welcome poet willie Perdomo. hello hello how are you welcome thank you congratulations thank you um, I, we acknowledge you, Senor, for um, immortalizing us. Mm. And when I say immortalizing, I mean immortalizing the urban community mm -hmm. mm, and our culture from a Latino's perspective. So let's talk a little bit about The Crazy Bunch. Absolutely. Um, you know, the book was conceived as a, as a, as a chronicle of a weekend of, of five uh, black and uh, Puerto Rican young men who grew, come of age in 1990s East Harlem. Uh, their lives are, are transformed by, by a series of events that uh, are, are tragic. And um, there is a series of interviews that happen with an outfit called the Poetry Cops, the Consolidated Poetry Systems. Uh, they talk to several members uh, of, of the crew and then also some people who are in the periphery. Um, but really, it's just an attempt to capture... Uh, a moment in time and, and, and also kind of think about the effect that um, what it felt like to, to, to live in, in somewhat of a, of a war zone in many ways, right, which is what, um, what, what was a byproduct of the, the ongoing drug war. Right. Um, but in addition, it was also a way to kind of um, celebrate uh, the friends I had uh, as a child uh, on Lexington and, and, and 122nd in, uh, in East Harlem. Yeah, we can reminisce about that. Yeah. Right, because I know the Crazy Bunch. Yeah, of course, bunch. of course. I saw <laughs> the Crazy Bunch. I mean, I wasn't technically <laughs> part of the Crazy Bunch, but I certainly felt like right. I was part of the Crazy Bunch because we all grew up together, that's and right. that's what happens. That's right. It, well, at least back in the day, right, we had a community yeah. of people who are from a certain area, yeah. and then we become a street family, Yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And so the beauty of what you have done, Senor, is that the book itself is a poem mm -hmm. because of the style in which you chose to capture the story, mm -hmm. right? You've got vignettes, you have some spoken word, you have some memoir style. Mm -hmm. And so um, I'm just curious, uh, are the members of the Crazy Bunch even familiar yet with what you have done for them? I think some of them are. I think once the word came out, my phone started ringing yeah. from some, some, some brothers who were down with the crew, and they were very excited. We're going to have a salon on Saturday in East Harlem and at Barrio, you know, um, at La Galeria del Barrio, uh, thanks to the East Harlem Cultural Collective, and, um, and I think some of them are planning to attend. So, so, they'll, so they'll be in the house, you know. Um, and it's important to kind of also say that, you know, this is, um, it's a fictional uh, book as well, you know. So uh, to, to, to go looking for, for, for oneself in the book might be a mistake that way. But there are moments, I had a friend of mine in a, in a reading yesterday at the Brooklyn Public Library who was like, damn, man, you, you, you know, you really brought, brought me back. Right. Uh, uh, to that time in our lives, right. you know, and I think that um, you did an outstanding job. And for just to have someone else in the crew uh, tell you that is gratifying in of itself because in reality, I wrote the book for them. Right. I mean, you know, you want as much, as many readers as you can get. Um, but the reminder is always that there was always one person on the other side who was asking, yo, when are you going to write about the crew? And because I knew who was asking, I knew exactly how to write it, you know? Yeah, I like that you um, 
added the disclaimers. Like it's fictional, yeah. so don't go looking to find yourself yeah. in the book. However, I think we all find a little bit of ourselves if we come from that urban upbringing. That's the hope. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and it's beautiful. Yeah. It's beautiful. And I'm looking forward to seeing what you've chosen to read for us. But before we do that, he's going to treat us to a little read, <laughs> which I'm really excited about. Mm -hmm. What do you um, hope that this serves for this next generation of hip hop? Mm. I, I think using hip hop as a source for language. Um, I also think that hip hop is a storytelling medium at best. Um, and that it's a way to relay um, a sort of chronicle and testimony for, for, for those of us who could not be here, for those of us who perished. Um, and that there's always going to be someone in your family, in your neighborhood, in your community who is going to ask you to remember. Um, and once that memory kicks in, you almost have a responsibility to honor that, uh, that question, um, that request to remember. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful words of mm -hmm. wisdom. And thank you for sharing it with our viewers and the next generation. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of them here on, mm -hmm. on camera and on the floor. So um, what are you going to be reading for us? I'm going to read the opening poem. Uh, it's called uh, In the Face of What You Remember. And uh, the first stanza actually is the very, very first lines that came to me um, when I started the book. Uh, uh, several years ago. All right, so you guys, uh, here's a nice little treat in the face of, right, of what you remember. In the face of what you, you remember. remember. In yeah. the face of what you remember yeah. by Willie Bendomo. You remember, that was the sum of up rock, quarter water, speed knots, pillow bags, two for five, Jesus pieces, and bamboo. The Willie Bobo was turned up to ten, and some would have said that a science was dropped on our summer. The summer that was lit with whispers of wild style, rock steady battles and white party plates made all kinds of moons on the playground foam. The summer the burner was used to eat and mandate, inspired Sunday sermons, became a literary influence with humming climaxes, a bribable tale, a dove tied to a string, and squashing beef wasn't an option. The summer of fresh shrills and a future somersaulting off a monkey bar, a future placing bets that all us old heads, desperate to find a new cool, could not flip pure. That was the summer that our grills dropped to below freezing. Back then, Palo Viejo was thermal and therapy, bones were smoked in the cut, and you had to expect Jungle Jim giggle to be accompanied by buckshot. That was the summer Charlie Chase hijacked megawatts from Rosa's kitchenette, found gems in a milk crate, spun his one and twos below rims that still vibrated with undocumented double dunks. The same summer we became pundits and philosophers, poets and pushers, that we all tried to fly, but only one of us succeeded. The summer that Papu turned up to extra status, the only one in the crew who had reduced fame's window by a fifth when the camera panned his Kazal laced up rock in the Roxy scene of Beach Street. One could say we gave the block gasp and gossip, body and bag, a folk tale worth its morphology. That was the season we had reason to rock capes and wings, chains and rings. Some of us flew higher than most, and tricks were hardly ever pulled from a hat. All that and a bag of barbecue bontons was enough for at least one of us to say, I'm straight. Wow. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Willie Perdomo, everyone. <laughs> and for more on his book, once again, the Crazy Bunch Salon and Book Party is taking place on Saturday, April 13th from 7 p.m. to 12 a.m. at La Galeria del Barrio which is located at 1625 East 104th Street. For tickets, you can visit Eventbrite, the Crazy Bunch Salon and Book Party. And for more information on the Crazy Bunch Book Tour and to get books, you can visit willyperdomo.com. We have to take a quick break, but when we return, we'll hear about a short horror film. Don't go anywhere.